<laughs> That's a good sized cutty right there. Let's rig up and try again. Yes. Oh. Hey, this one's not a trout. And while we're on the subject of hygiene today, if you need to brush your teeth, you just find yourself a nice pine cone. I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm Greg Ovens. And this is the 30 Day Survival Challenge, Canadian Rockies. There's only one rule. If you want to eat, you got to catch and cook it. The 30 Day Survival Challenge Season 2 Canadian Rockies has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 Day Survival Challenge. Good morning. Good morning. Day 10. Day 10. Oh, exciting day. Moving to the final location. Chance at a big bully in the river. Oh, exciting stuff. Let's do it. The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path There goes keep, Greg Keep on pushing he didn't have a bite yesterday, but uh, maybe they weren't feeding, so he's off down to see if we can't get that bully. I'm gonna get a fire going. It's coffee. Coffee. Mmm. Oh. Give me the willies thinking about it. Love my coffee. Yeah, I get up.
nothing like a cup of coffee and some wild onions for breakfast. Ah. They, they actually go together fairly well. It's not that bad. Hey, Greg, what was those berries we found a couple of yesterday? Saskatoon. I can never remember the... No wonder I can't remember the name of it. Saskatoon. That's just like... There's nothing to relate to it. Managed to find like 20 Saskatoon berries that were ripe and I ate those, but... So that makes the onion the sweetest thing we've eaten. Well, that's pretty good. Oh, coffee's doing its job. I feel my morning constitutional coming on. I better go find myself some toilet paper. Ooh, there's a bunch of nice toilet paper. Old man's beard. There's some more toilet paper. If you can't find enough old man's beard, this moss makes great toilet paper. And it's downy soft, and it's a refreshing experience for your, well, you can figure it out from there. Get our supplies. You wanna go away from where other people are and make yourself a little spot to enjoy yourself. Because doing number two in the woods should still be number one and comfortable if you do it right. And be courteous, especially if you're in a spot like this. We're way out here, but uh, there is a campsite and some people do come here every so often. You don't want them to come and find some booby trap out in the woods. Oh, Miss Rumsfield, be careful, quitty. Damn it. Dig a little hole. Be courteous. And sometimes you find treasure. Well, there we go. There's a nice worm. It was already worth it. Where am I gonna put him? Right there on that leaf. I'll bring him back to our worm box. It doesn't have to be huge, just so that somebody else doesn't have to step in your... Well, you know what I'm talking about. And make your position as flat as possible and make sure that your toilet paper... Oh, that's not my toilet paper. That's my toilet lid. That's the toilet lid. <laughs> your toilet paper is all at hand so you don't find yourself on the john stranded on the john always have enough that should do it seriously though make sure you have a lot of moss at hand because unlike toilet paper you can't do your thing in two passes you're going to need to take a lot of light passes so you walk away from this experience clean it's better to be prepared than find yourself stranded on the john and it's just a matter of a good, finding yourself a good spot. Get yourself a good squat. And make sure you clear the branches around you. There's nothing quite like something poking you when you're trying to have your morning constitutional. And I think you can figure the rest out from there. And remember folks, don't forget to fill in your divots. It's polite. There you go. That's how you do it. There's just one more detail I kind of left out, which kind of ruins the whole experience for most people if they've ever tried it the first time. And it's a little hard to explain because I don't want to be vulgar, but it's a very important part of being able to go to the bathroom in the woods. And that is holding your pants in just the right spot when they're down around your knees and tucking them up so you don't pee on the back of your pant legs. If you nail that, then you are actually will find it more enjoyable than sitting on a potty sometimes. And just because you pooped in the woods doesn't mean you shouldn't wash your hands. You're not a filthy sailor. Oh, 
And while we're on the subject of hygiene today, if you need to brush your teeth, you just find yourself a nice pine cone and go to town on your teeth there. It gets a squeaky clean. Make sure you wear Katina and get that wild onion out. I get it all? Yeah, squeaky clean. All right, on our way to the Mayuk River. My, Mayuk River, big but, fish in there too. Big fish, we're going after big fish today before we move to our final destination. Final destination. That was a messed up movie. Oh, oh. that was weird. Yeah, you saw that? Oh, yeah. You ever think about that when you're driving along and you see like a logging truck and then <laughs> that was Final Destination, wasn't it? The, the log falling off of it and bouncing yeah. and yeah. oh man, I think I, every time I see a logging truck, I'm like, I'll oh, fall back or pass him, one of the two. I almost got nailed by a logging truck a few years ago. Oh really? Yeah, somebody pulled out in front of him at an intersection and he had to swerve around them and he almost hit me, but he did some fancy driving. Oh. We are at the river. Let's see if we can get an angle on them. Greg says that we can, uh, a lot of times you see the big bullies right off the bridge down in there. It's amazing how many roads and, uh, and stuff there is out here. We've been, I don't know, two hour drive out here into the bush and there's still roads and bridges everywhere from uh, logging. I don't know. Hard to see anything in the water or that it's moving as quick as it is. Phew, she's flying. There's just no uh, seeing through the water today. Is that a troll under the bridge? Oh no, it's just Greg. Trying to catch fish. Okay, so I've rigged up something new. I got my spinner up here and a line hanging down to my rock and some of this Kevlar line from my Possibles pouch so that it'll sit at the bottom and then my lure will sit there and buzz away and I'll be able to feel a hit. Let's see if this works. Close to shore test, shows moderate chance of success. Fish on! Woohoo! with the new rig here. Look at that. I believe, yeah, this is a uh, good, <laughs> that's a good size cutty right there. Let's rig up and try again. That's a, oh, mm. thank you Lord. What a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I lost my sinker rock. It got stuck. This might be my lucky lure. I found this one when uh, getting skunked with my girlfriend. We were trying to catch some fish, of course, and uh, I ended up pulling in some piece of line, and then I just kept pulling on the line to get it out of the water, and in came this tied to the end of a stick. Somebody had lost it, and it caught me a fish while I'm out here surviving the Rockies. That's awesome. I'll bring it up again, I'll show you how I did it this time. I forgot to hit record the first time.
So I made one change to the setup. I put my rock on another swivel, but a lighter swivel, and attached it to this heavier one that's up here. So that way if my rock or my swivel can break uh, before I lose the fish and the lure. Because last time I got lucky, whatever happened, maybe the, uh, however I tied it on here, it slipped. I don't know how I broke free and had the fish and didn't have my Kevlar line and all that. And I don't know, but hey, I got the fish. Well, it looks like I've caught all the fish I'm going to catch here. One will have to do. we got to move on to another spot because I just haven't gotten any more bites. So let's do it. This is the one though, That's the, I just gotta get him again. If I get him on this worm, that'll make a uh, three worm fish. That is a fair trade, I'd say. Another nice one. Yes. All right. Mm, beautiful fish. Look at these guys. 
Look. Look at that. I'm not excited. Oh, this is like, this one and the last one were the, probably the biggest I've caught since I've got here. Big old cutthroats. Man, we're gonna eat well tonight. Gonna eat well tonight. Praise God. Woo, thank you for the outdoors, Lord. See that one with good hook. Number three for today. Number three. Oh, another nice one. Hey, this one's not a trout. This is like uh, the sucker fish for the area there. Greg was telling me about this. I can't remember the name. Look at that. Uh, shoot, I'll put the name down low. Not bad though, still as heavy as the other guys. That's a good fish. Let's see if we can get more. How many fish are in here? All right, no more bites. Might as well head back. Ah, I'm gonna stick him in. Ah, I guess. Now this will make my third one, and all my who rags are smarmy from different things. Need to move to our permanent site today so I can do laundry. Four fish today. Four fish. His little head sticking out. Hello. Stay in there. Getting a little nutty. Might be getting hungry. Might be getting hungry. I don't know what time it is. Let me check. Three o'clock. Three o'clock and almost 4,000 calories burned to catch four fish. Is four fish 4,000 calories? I'd say they're over a pound, most of them. I think we're doing pretty good. So we're not at our final destination exactly. We went there and there's logging there that wasn't there before and just. I didn't really get a good shot of the logging, but it was like a couple anchors of wood that had been cut down just in the past two weeks since Greg had come there to scout it out as a location for our final destination. We flew the drone up the valley. It didn't go quite as far as the lake. So it was right at the end of this and that was like a mile away. Well, we didn't want to be that close to the logging. So we're kind of bummed, but we went up the road further and we found this nice stream. And we're trying to find a place for it to camp for the night and then decide what in the world we're going to do tomorrow since our whole plan has been... Well, it's kind of been kiboshed. Yeah, turned upside down a little bit. But we know there's another good lake up the road. There's a beautiful stream here. There's possible marmot slides down there. And look at that view. Look at the view. Oh, of course, everywhere you go around here, that view is beautiful. It's true enough. So now we just gotta find somewhere to put our hammocks and a fire for the night though. Here and there and stuff. All right, I guess we found home for the night again. 
which is good. I just we wanted we were both pretty disappointed. We wanted to find home for the next 20 days. So maybe by tomorrow we can have it figured out, and maybe in the morning more fresh trout from the stream. All right, let's get a fire going and get right. those fish cooking, right? Yeah. We are hungry. Okay, we work together again. I can get, I can clean fish, get a fire. If you want to do hammocks, or, you know. Okay. Moose pellets everywhere. Maybe we'll make a, a new friend. Nothing like making friends in the woods. I'm a little nutty. I'm getting a little nutty. I'm hungry. There's our haul for the day. Not too bad. Greg's cleaning the big one out. That's not That's too amazing. shabby. We did pretty good. We got uh, one white fish and the rest are cutthroat. Good size too. close one it's like an inch from being one inch closer together and they would have been too close together uh, I'm done Woo there's a fire Are we gonna eat them all tonight? <laughs> oh, no. I'm just having my big one, probably. Yeah. Oh, look at all the eggs, huh? That bodes well for us that uh, if all these fish that we're catching might be spawning at this time of year, we get a lot more eggs, but bigger eggs as the time goes on. Right, looks like the fish is done. I hope it's done. After all that, that's pretty golden looking and, oh. And I had the hardest time making chopsticks. The cottonwood and everything that's in this area is all bendy and like So, I think it's done. Please be done. Oh, yeah, it's done. It's done. Yeah. And we got a little something else to go with it. Some eggs, fish eggs and liver. Apparently every single one of them was female. So there's all kinds of fish eggs. Oh, and some liver and some fish eggs. Took more than I should there, I'll leave that for Greg. And what are we gonna do? How are we gonna dress this up? How are we gonna dress how can we make this any better than it is? I think I know. Just sprinkle it all over my plate. And I can just dip the pieces in it as I tear it apart. Full savage. Full savage. Oh, egg. Mmm. Eggs, eh? Yeah, so cook. good. Mm -hmm. You nailed the cook. It's like they taste like uh, extra, like good grits or something. If you get big fish eggs and you um, and you put them in a pan, you can uh, with some oil, they'll pop just like popcorn, and they're so good. Mm. That's all you've had so far is the skin. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Alright, I am in. Whew. I'm gonna try something different, use the light instead of just the uh, the uh, 
night vision. Is that rain? That sounds like rain. What a surprise. It's rained a little bit almost every single day, except for the day we were trapped on top of the mountain, and then it sprinkled on us when it was hot and we were going up the hill. But uh, it did not rain on us that night we were sleeping up there, fortunately. So, if you haven't seen that, you'll have to go back, check out the playlist, it's linked below, watch the whole series from the beginning. 30 Day Survival Challenge Canadian Rockies. If you didn't know that already, then you've been skipping too many parts at the beginning. I don't know. But uh, I am in my hammock. Whew, that fish felt so good, and we still have more fish. We'll have to deal with that tomorrow. It's in the truck locked up right now. We've got to find our final destination. We have a couple prospects in mind, mainly just hiking up this river here because at the other end there's a lake and just posting up there and building our tree forts and living there. But it's a crazy thing. Very disappointed to find that the place we came to today is now being logged and the lake just beyond that is... Uh, there's said to be no access because of the logging and uh, it's just a mess. It's a mess. It would be awful. If we did go there, we'd probably be hearing like Rrr. I mean, this is ridiculous. We're the furthest we've ever been out here. So I made a big effort before bed to wash my hands, wash my face, used a uh, horse tail, scouring weed to scour the pots and pans, clean those, rinse those good. And I put my fish uh, bones into the soup pot and put that on to simmer so it's sanitized and ready to be... Um, I didn't have any tonight because it hasn't boiled all day and I just don't want to wait for it. But it'll be there tomorrow. The ever stew. And, uh... Yeah. Hopefully tomorrow we can find uh, our final location somewhere close by because I do not want to have to move camp again and again. So, I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Fowler out.